So what up guys, it's TPAG Navy. It's back with the video of five ways to prepare for boot camp. Um, so right now I am in A school for OS o uh, Operations Specialist. Just, if anybody got that rate, it's very easy. School's kind of easy. It's just a lot, a lot of vocabulary words pretty much. It's not that hard right now. It's, I'm almost done, I got three weeks left and I'm going to San Diego on a DDG. I'm happy about that. But anyways, let's let's get this going. So the first thing to prepare for is exercise. The push-ups, sit-ups, and the run. Those are the three things you should be working on to get ready for boot camp. And I just got told that for the run, in order to get to qualify to go in the Navy, you had to do a run first. It's, we didn't do that. We just go to boot camp and make a run and see if we can pass it. That I gotta, I'll wait. I'll say that for last. Anyway, so the push-ups. What I would do is just normal push-ups. Take it slow. Don't go fast. You just not about how fast you are. I mean, it is. I mean, you can do it in two minutes. But in order to get better at it, is go slow with it. You know, you don't have to go. When you get down, hold it for a while. That's what they're gonna do at boot camp. They're gonna tell you to hold it down. And if you drop, then you have to do it again, over and over until you get stronger. So that's what I did, that's what you need to do. Just go down, you hold it for a little bit, and then you go slowly up, and then down. You hold it as long as you can, and you go back up. And once you can't do more push-ups, just hold it there for a long time. Just hold it, stay at least for a minute or so, hold it so it builds your core. And put sit-ups, just basic sit-ups. You gotta go like this. Your arms cannot go like this. You can't go like this, you know? Just make sure it's in front of your chest, and just gotta touch your, your uh, thighs. And push-ups is like, at least try to do more than 50. Sit-ups, more than 50. That's more than you need to do, honestly, but just try to get to 50. And on a mile run, try to get under 12 minutes. It's a mile and a half run, so you gotta do under 12 minutes. So for that, on a mile run, do what I did as I ran across country. So I did that in mile, mile and a half was eight minutes and 40 seconds. And the way I did it is that in cross country you run like three miles every day. So if you want to build like help you run better, just do more than than the qualify is so one and a half. So try to run like three miles every day so that when you do that, your endurance and your core is stronger and you you can easily do it. Like when you do that run one mile and a half, you'll be like, wow, that was so easy. Because you're gonna see in people in boot camp that are struggling to run. There, it's always that, we had four people get fail out of boot camp. Not fail, but they got pushed back. It's called ASMO. When you get pushed back, or you get kicked out of the Navy. That's the m most exercise that everyone uh, gets kicked out because of the run. They can't pass the run. It's honestly one of the easiest. But you'll see a lot of people struggling. They, they don't try. Like they, they act like they're trying, but they don't. Um, just don't give up. That's one thing about running. Like, when I ran, I watch you, when you're running, you're not supposed to motivate your fellow shipmates. But I low key when I was running, I always tell them go, keep going, don't stop. Just if you stop, then you're wasting time. So when you're running, if you stop, literally you're like slowing down. And you have to build that momentum again, and it takes a lot of time. It takes more like at least a minute or two out of your time so just to build that momentum. Just keep a pace and keep running, and don't stop. And you'll pass. And for number talking about exercises, I'm gonna just go to step four, which is swimming. That also learn to do the backstroke. That's the easiest stroke you can learn. They're gonna teach you that if you don't pass the first time. They're gonna teach you how to do the backstroke. So if you don't know how to swim, don't worry about it. You'll be alright. Cause when I my story when I did the swim, I fell the first time because. When I jumped off, I didn't have my glasses. So for all you guys that don't have glasses, learn how to swim without be looking. Like you're not gonna be able to see. You're gonna be blind. You're gonna be like, oh, I can't see. So when I was swimming, I was doing a freestyle, right? And there was a guy in front of me, and I couldn't like pass. I don't know that I was trying to pass him, but I couldn't. And my instructor, the instructor was yelling at me, telling me to go around him. I didn't know he was talking to me, so I stopped swimming. And he's like, why you not go around on blah, this and that. 
And then he pulled me out. He's like, no, you know what? Get out. You're going to do it again. And I had to go all the way back again. And it was just, I hated it. I was mad. I was low-key heated. It just, like, really made me mad. And I had to redo everything. And I had to do the backstroke. You know, I'm talking about that backstroke. Sucks. Like, it's like, huh, like that. In and out and like that. You just go to YouTube. There's some YouTube videos on how to do the backstroke. It's easy. Either way, I had to redo it again. I had to wait like a couple, like 30 minutes, and it sucks to wait. Waiting, it sucks. But that's the one thing you're gonna be doing. The first thing you're gonna do in boot camp is wait. Wait, wait, wait. And stay awake. That's one key to stay awake. You'll pass boot camp if you stay awake. Don't fall asleep. A lot of people got in trouble for falling asleep and during uh, instructions and stuff like that, like classes, they'll fall asleep and that's, they'll kick you out and you have to redo it again and sometimes you get kicked back weeks and you have to redo everything again. Okay, now back to this. So, uh, step two, now we're going back to step two because I did number four swimming. Study the debt book. If you're E1 and you want to become an E2 to get paid more, study the debt book. Ex Especially, oh, that goes for rate. That's my step three. I put it apart because it's very important. Your rates and recognition. Learn that, like, the palm of your hand because that's important. That's in your test. I remember that in my debt test. It's important. I failed my debt test, so I'm going to steal E1, and it's not good. It's, I hate being an E1 because you have sometimes no money. I mean, if you know how to save, but I'm not a good saver. I ain't going to lie to you. I'd be wasting money putting out there. Don't do that. Don't do it like me. Don't waste your money. Save it. Like, if you're an OS, the guys, don't waste your money. You're not going to be here that long. You'll be out to your fleet. If you're a packer, don't even buy anything. You're leaving literally in like a week or two and being in Chicago. And honestly, guys, Chicago's not that great. It's not that great. I ain't going to lie to you. Unless you go through the summer. When you come in the summer and it's hot, it's good, but it's cold. Really don't go out that much. Stay in. And yeah. Anyways, Back to like what I was saying, rank and recognition. Learn the other branches too. Don't just learn the Navy. I mean, it's important to learn the Navy. That's one important. First, learn that and then learn the, the other branches the Army, Air Force, Marines. Learn that. And uh, terminologies. Learn that too. That's for step five. Um, terminologies like example. I'll give you an example. Like the bathroom is not called the bathroom, it's called the head. Uh, the bulkhead, which is the ceiling. And the deck, which is the floor. Those are some. Not, not that much. Uh, yeah, what else? Oh, learn your aircrafts and your ships. That's one. That's one, it's a kind of an adept test to get E2. And to become an E3, if you're E2, you want to become an E3, the best way is just volunteer for everything. Like, be our park, A Rock. You understand when you get there. You just volunteer when you hear our park, A Rock, uh, MA, Master of Arms. Pretty, pretty much I'll talk about that later but um just do those do like volunteer to be a leadership role to get uh, to E3 it depends though they, they like the RDC is only get like at least eight depending how many people you have like uh, us it was just five people that got ranked up to E3 or E2 so if that if you want to get ranked up to get paid more do that volunteer if you're already E3 please don't volunteer there's no point you're already E3 so you really get other people, let other people have the chance to become a leader and uh, let them get ranked up so they can pay more. So if you're E3, don't volunteer. Just stay low, do you, finish boot camp and leave. But if you see that no one volunteers, you can volunteer. I mean, yeah, go ahead and volunteer. But if you're E3, please don't volunteer. Let other people get money. Let other people rank up. Because that's one key. On Navy, you got to work as a team in communication and stay motivated. Don't give up. Don't be like, oh, this is too hard for me. I haven't seen, I haven't had my phone for a while. Because it sucks. Honestly, you only get to be able to mail your f family for every Sunday. That's called holiday routine. Every Sunday, you get to, to mail your family. And sometimes it sucks. Sometimes, like me, I didn't get mail that much because I really didn't want to mail my parents. I was trying to see if I can do it without really communicating with my family. And that was kind of hard, but I got it through. It's not that hard, guys. It's only, well, for me, it was only the same week because I was the push division, so mine was short. My uh, boot camp was shorter than normal. And for you guys, I heard that might, they might switch it to 13 weeks. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it does, you still got it. 
You, I promise you, you got it. I just feel bad for the people that are going through this December. That's like they have to shovel snow. I didn't have to do that, luckily. But I still got stuck in Chicago, and I still have to do shovel snow a little here and there. But I haven't done it yet, luckily, because, you know, I've been lucky enough. I've been lucky in the Navy for now. Everything's great. The Navy is great, honestly, guys. It's not that bad. You're going to hear people complain all the time. You just want to punch them in the face, but it's okay. It's not that bad, honestly. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, subscribe, give it a like, and comment for any other videos. Also, watch my man uh, JT Suits videos. Subscribe to his channel. He has really good videos about the Navy. He knows more than me. He's been in longer than me. So if anybody that wants to know more about the Navy, JT Suits is the guy for you. He probably doesn't even know about who I am, but that's the guy who I, the reason why I also started videos. He's really good, so go subscribe to his channel. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. TP is out.